Hello everybody, I am Sacred and thank you for joining me in our let's play of Hearts of Iron for the Economic Crisis Mod 2015. Всем привет, дорогие, дорогие друзья, я Сакрет, и давайте играть Hearts of Iron 4, let's continue our let's play of Hearts of Iron 4 here. Uh, you know, of course, our let's play as the mighty Russian Federation as Vladimir Putin, the great leader. Also, today are the elections in Russia, so I hope you went and vote, and uh, you hope, I hope you went and used your vote, if you're possible to. Uh, well, today are the elections in Russia, yeah, but we are in civil war, in civil war with our own country, so that doesn't fit in that well. Well, we should win really soon, because, well, they have no troops, kinda, here. Yeah. They're capturing our industrial area, but that's it. We should recapture them in a really fast moment here. Uh, well, we need to capture their victory points, that's the most important goal. Yeah, the Civil War, let's see, uh, what about the capitulation? Uh, they capitulated, yeah. If we capture these two points here, they should be really weakened. Oh, we are being attacked. Look to that. Look to that. All right. Well, do they really think they can compete against us? That's funny. Yeah. Capture of Stalingrad. Stalingrad is Russian again. Where do they have victory points? Stalingrad. Here they have none. Here they have none. I only need to get the victory points to make them capitulate. So in that case, yeah. Um, Russian Chinese War, uh, Kingdom of Sweden, uh, uh, it's our side here. But only 36%, so. That's surprisingly much. Yeah. And you should push. Yeah, having a battle plan set up here is really hard because the troops are just being retarded. Because this area, to be honest, yeah, isn't meant to, well. Look to that. They have no troops here in the bulk. I only need to send my troops to get the area back, that's it. But to finish the war, I want to. Well, guess what? I only want to get the victory points, kinda. So I'm just gonna let them march into the area here with the victory points. Well, these two groups will march to Astrahan well, to make the fascists lose. Let Krasnodar, my cope. My cope. After that, they should capitulate. I mean, they don't have that many, do they? <coughs> <coughs> um, let's see. Only 45%. Let's go to Suhum. Grozny Suhum. Let's fight against our rebellion, rebellion troops here. It looks quite messy, but they will well, capitulate so. Uh, we don't have as priority. Perhaps we should change our fighter's destination here from Manchuria, well, to China. And we suffered great losses with our planes, as you see. But which isn't that great. Yeah, we lost uh, some. Yeah, only three left. They got virtually wiped out. So the Chinese are really good in terms of points. So we can see from that. Indeed, perhaps too good, but nah. They lost 1 million troops already, while we are, <coughs> well, we didn't lose that many, which is, of course, I mean, Russian quality, what can you expect, yeah. Mechanized, let's go for mechanized. Uh, we have three naval dockyards, so that's great, I am producing convoys, I think, I have plus 40, yeah, let's keep producing convoys then, if that's the case. I'm building, I think, yeah, no, first we are preparing most of the things, which is taking a long time, so... Belarus, White Russia. They are fighting, we are continuing to Grozny. Push to Grozny. I think, I mean, then they should give it to light. After these troops reach Astrahan as well. Uh, let's see the capitulation rate is, yeah. They should fall then. They lost only 1000 troops. Well, they don't have that many, so. I mean, that's a really bad rebellion, mate. That's like so bad as the rebellion in Turkey. <laughs> that's yeah, comparable to that's really horrible simply. Uh, what should I do actually? I have no idea. Armored corpus? Corpus, okay. Yeah. Grozny. 
Capture of Grozny soon the capture of Astrahan. After Grozny and Astrahan, they really should capitulate, really. Come on. I mean, come on, they should. Let's uh, here. Yeah, 97%. Come on, I got both. I don't. Nice, they capitulate. Are you kidding me? I did capitulate, but they are still alive. What? Can someone explain it to me, please? Please, come on. Uh, okay, I'm fine. I really can't understand the game sometimes. How broken it is. Look, they even don't have troops there. How how do they? Please tell me. How how do they seize control of a territory where they don't have troops there? Just okay. That's my land. Well, whatever. Yeah, need to manage everybody manual events so brutally annoying simply. Yeah, I should really reach light. That is the rabbi joke. I just need to capture so much territory here, it's simply a joke. I mean the thing is they even do do not have troops in it, you see? Oh, yeah, that is insanely annoying how you might guess. I'm sending them one by one to the bloody provinces to recapture well, the, the land which they even shouldn't be controlling. Yeah, that's some great fun you can guess. Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, yeah, let's get the Migdievits. Mikoyan Gurievich. Perhaps some doctrines here. Alright, uh, come on, here, yeah, just go into there, yeah, why aren't the Ukrainians doing anything, do you think? I mean, they should lose every territory after they capitulate, we can agree on that, can we, but they didn't, now look to that, it's just insanely messed up territory here, it's kind of funny, but, well, whatever. Uh, hunt and destroy, here, okay, let's get back, let's see even how much of our NF3 they seized. Uh, let's check them here. Larus, they, well, actually quite much. 37 and 25, wow. That's annoying. <coughs> I can't push, is that the bloody joke? Um, yeah, simply. It's just taking so much time and so much effort. I mean, fighting a war would be better than that. Simply unbelievable. Let's look to that how much we have to do. I mean, you guys can agree that if they capitulate, they shouldn't control any land. Should they? Oh, they shouldn't. So, it's insanely messed up. Let's kill the bulks here and just go show our troop doesn't get encircled. Yeah, our tank is... Um, we are pushing them. Oh, we are having progress. Oh, we captured Beijing. Oh, we captured Beijing guys. We captured the capital. Look to the industry we seized. Wow. We got so much industry. It's unbelievable. Look to that, well they still have a good amount, but we simply outnumber them vastly. Uh, Kazakhstan, oh, Spasiba Kazakhstan, I won't say no to, well, their troops, although now I don't know where they are. Probably here in the area, I would guess, yeah, 34 divisions. Uh, I'm gonna use these 34 with a, a new commander, Sergei Brusilov, oh, Brusilov, Brusilov. Wasn't Brusilov the commander in the First World War? I think so. I can field march and attack the Taliban. Oh no, we had our tanks there. We don't wanna uh, waste them. I mean, let's just assign it to the army of Sayusniki. The United Army. Edina Armia. Well, India, let's ask them here. Give me territory. Tibet, Yarkand, Urumqi. Yeah, let's give me Urumqi. Nice. 
Uh, then the Arkan Tsurumki. Well, Tibet is quite nice. Well, yeah, I should have took Tibet. Fuck. <laughs> Whatever. Um, where are my tanks here, actually? Tanky. Awesome Tanky. Tanky. I have. Wait, how many are they? Uh, oh. I want to attack. I clearly have the upper hand to attack, but the game won't let me. Oh, they are letting me attack. No way, I'm going to be I have six tank divisions here. Let's push. They shouldn't. Yeah, I wait. I want to stop the push with the non mirrors actually. Only tanks would push. Not the Garna Sarkovia Divisia. You stop, okay. Probably I should capture. Yeah. This territory first. Uh, we should. But why am I making. Oh, I have because of the terrain such a high penalty. Uh, River crossing exceeding combat with terrain and knights, okay. So we are making good progress here. Our Taliban pushed into Tajikistan. That's not acceptable. Not at all. No, it's not at all. Oh, the Chinese resistance is really weakened though. They are losing battle for battle. Well, they simply can't, well, hold step with the superior Russian forces, can they? No, nope, they can't. I uh, need to start the cleaning up again of the whole area. They're so bloody annoying. Just, I, I mean, yeah. Just look. It's just, just marking, just marching through, marching through. Uh, well, I will name this episode the Second Russian Civil War. Yeah, because I mean, they should have capitulated, and it's the Second Russian Civil War. So probably, yeah. Let's get our land back here. The last. Industrial region of Volgograd. Yeah, every province, like thousands of provinces one by one. That can be value annoying, I can tell you that, that's for sure. Look, it's the micromanaging. Insanely micromanaging. Let's check our planes here. Uh, fighter, go, go, go. Okay, the fighter is dead, so I can <laughs> disband him. <laughs> Well, they are producing probably many fighters, so I am. Yeah, they have more than me, I do. Well, currently the fighters aren't much of use, so if you have a superior army, but if your fighters aren't that superior, well, guess what? It doesn't matter that much, so. That point of view, you should know. Uh, we need to capture Shanghai. Let's check when they are. How many percent towards capitulation? Uh, well, let's try it up. Uh, well, only the half, only 42%. Yeah, we can't, uh, we could nuke them, but nuking is really, well, it doesn't bring you anything per se, so it isn't really worth it. Let's get our territory back here. Uh, everything one by one. I need to get back, er get back everything, buddy. What? Armenia did capitulate? Are you kidding me? Oh, wow. Okay. They just captured the capital and then our Armenia did capitulate. Okay, they do capitulate. Well, Armenia. I didn't expect them to lose against, yeah. That shouldn't be, that shouldn't happen in the Civil War at all. I mean, not in that scale. In that bloody bad scale, it's horrible. It's a horrible scale. Not horribly harming, just horribly annoying. Yeah, I mean, look to that, look to my tasks here. Aren't they awesome? Okay, I'm gonna send these lads down. Just blow down here. Well, at least Ukraine is doing something. Oh, that's okay. <coughs> Let's capture the territory. A weekend there in a <laughs> Although, it's not really a weekend, kinda, well, whatever. Uh, Illusion Shears, Finland, so on. 
Uh, you can keep your two tiny divisions, thank you. Uh, nothing here, yeah, it's far of time, nothing here as well. 0.1, yes, I can go for it. Why not? Hey, that is done. That as well, that as well, we go down. You capture that, you capture that. It's so annoying. Everything one by one, yeah, yeah just... Oh. Yeah, well, it simply looks silly, doesn't it? Yeah, look, man, why not capture that as well? Why not? Well... Uh, yeah, I'm getting that, you can go there... Then... Uh, well, I'm sure we can completely recapture our territory by the end of this episode. That's yeah, that should be a quite doable goal in my opinion. <laughs> uh, okay, capturing that, you go down there, capture that, and you can just make a cut through that. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, Okay. Uh, oh, whatever. Combat unit destruction is down. Uh, what do we want? Tactical bomber. I would say air superiority, which we don't have. Well, let's do well a ground spot. Well, air spot, yeah. Then perhaps. It's so bloody annoying. It would be great if they would have joined the NATO then, yeah. But then I would have been fucked. They didn't, they did join the China Sphere. Probably because the USA even doesn't want to make a war with the mighty Russian army. Which will be even mightier at the end. Let's evacuate our planes from Baku, which we'll probably lose to the fascists. Uh, one division Belarus, one. That's really kind from you. <laughs> one, wow. Oh, wow, great. Okay, and that uh, is going there. Let's attack that. Oh, 704. That's why it's wrong. Need two aluminum. Well, everybody in the not really uh, doesn't trade us. Well, that are some real sanctions. You can pull it in that way. Yeah, uh, great, isn't it? Well, they are going down. Okay, at least we can go up there. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. Capture these two. Then I should have controlled every province. They are now only in the Caucasus. A little. Oh, we are going to insert the troops. No, we aren't. Just why not go and conquer them? Get them. Well, we are doing great progress in China. We are capturing province by province so fast. Look to the vast amount of industry we uh, capture already. Let's ask the Indians if they are so... Well, they can keep it. Come on, let's not be too greedy, shall we? Yeah, I'll be too greedy. Yeah, why aren't we... I mean, are they pushing us or are we pushing them? It's, it's that's clear from now. I am... Come on, I have such pristine divisions and I'm not able to push, fuck. I'm gonna do an automatic battle plan. I want to bomb and nuke the hell out of the Taliban. Do I have some strategic... I, do I mean strategic? I think I do. Well, I can send them to... Oh, they have Karal... Karakal Pakistan. Karakal Pakistan. <laughs> nice name. Karakal Pakistan and fucking gonna nuke them. Oh, Macedonia wants to try with me. Let's get everything. I have to offer. Here, great, great. So the front is getting tighter, which I really like. Uh, and go down below there. They are going down below already. They too. And the battleground. Let's encircle this division, actually. Which is a quite strong one, because, well, they stole, stole it from us. Our army is 3.46 million big. Why, actually? Uh, am I, yeah, I'm recruiting quite a bit, that's why. 
Strelkovia Divizia. Strelkovia Divizia. I need aluminum. I can't get aluminum or what? Need even more. Just gonna get it from everybody, I don't mind. It's fine now. No, okay, it's fine. Yeah, great. Well, what do I need? Let's check here. I need towered artillery. I need lots. Okay, I don't need artillery somehow. Well, that's interesting. But I need tons of infantry equipment, which I am gonna get, of course. Uh, infantry equipment 3, it should be. Yeah, let's get it on the first line and maximize its production here. Okay. Focus. I really don't need a focus, do I? Let's just finish it here. Armies of a special purpose. Why not? Meanwhile, here. <laughs> uh, just getting the territory back here. It's soon done. It's not really the most exciting thing, to be honest, but it's done soon. So, uh, at least it's done soon. Now, attacking from two fronts. Look to their defense, bloody hell. 800. 800. Okay, tanks are really not effective in that terrain. I'm gonna send him there too. Because so he actually stays encircled. You are gonna... They are going to well, release Yerevan. Capital of the Armenians. They are going to push down into that province. And these three are going to capture our land again. Uh, yay, the uh, Caucasus is kind of clean now. Yay, celebration. <laughs> uh, technology to research. It will end up in NATO. Let's check later. Not right now. Well, we can get everything, so let's do that then. NATO. Well, every guy is entering the NATO kind of. And kind of slowly they are entering the NATO. Well, the Mexicans really don't like the Americans, I think. Yeah, the American industry is just, well, massive. Massive. But why they are fascists? The fascists are 30%. It's really weird. Well, will they get fascists? I hope they will, so then NATO breaks up. Can I boost? No, I can't boost popularity of the fascisms. Fascists, why? Yes, Kirin. Oh. Okay. Yeah, well... They can guard here. Let's assign them to Guardia. Guardia and simply unassign the commander. Tell them to guard, garrison the uh, whole captured area. I'm not sure, I just think it's that area. Yeah. China is a big country, so we need to guard a big, well, vast area. Okay, let's assign these into the Guardia as well. They are on their way, great. Okay, uh, well, supply ratio here is kind of bad, I think. That's why they cannot push that sweep. But we are pushing in a coastal line quite well, thanks to my OP bell plan, I'll uh, name it. I can't be push though. Probably because of the uh, infrastructure in the area. Guessed it already. Well. The Taliban, yeah, that's really problematic. I need to bring Turkmenistan into our faction, although they don't want to. Why? What they are? They aren't in civil war. Then please, I mean, look, they aren't fighting, are they? But they got the modifier that they are in civil war. Or well, probably because I am, yeah. But it's just probably annoying, to be honest. I shouldn't be in the civil war, to be honest, but I am. Uh, here, the territory is getting slower. Here, we liberated Armenia. Let's sing this tank division down below here. Okay, no way, sorry, but you cannot break out. David captured Kabahu as well. The Azerbaijani capital. 
Oh yeah, great. The only thing they control is in the Caucasus. These tiny provinces. Let's move these units up here. Uh, okay, like that. Come on. He wants to send 94 divisions. Okay, I think they sent their whole army, didn't they? Oh, they didn't. They have a bigger one. They sent 94. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna integrate them to the army of Army of Sayuzniki. Uh, 88. Um, okay. Yeah. I'm gonna assign them to that front line, but I'm gonna extend the front line now onto the whole front. So that should be a good thing. Check here. The front line is really huge now, yeah. And just push like that straight in. It'll be easy to do. Alright, we have three factories, look to that. Yay, um We should probably get our own resources and stop trading with everybody else. Okay, and uh we are exporting. Uh we need to see what are we importing kind of everything except chromium. Yeah. We need to build some aluminum factories. Aluminum factories, yeah. But I really hope that the USA is going to be get fascists. That would really make things so much easier for us. So much easier for us. Yeah, may I always change my law from export focus to uh, limited exports. I'm saving for that right now. Um. At war is a resistance occupation. In North Korea. My guardias here. Uh, let's assign you to North Korea as well, then to Pyongyang. Well, I'd never think that the North Koreans would fall into Russian hands. That's kind of funny, but well, it happened. Why that does it tell that Luga is. Oh, that's weird. Although here, we are winning the war slowly but safely. Make some pressure on these units. Uh, 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 come on. You send actually everybody to attack him. Okay. Well, the Civil War was really messy. Well, it costed us, well, not maybe many troops, but surely it costed us lots of time. And it wasn't really a fun thing either to do, so. <laughs> yeah. I have a surplus of motorized equipment, but a heavy minus of infantry equipment, how you see. So, yeah, the most things will go into infantry equipment production. What can I actually modify with army experience? Um, uh, national focus, oh yeah. I think navy well, only to get ships. That's it. Yeah, I have Homer Convoys plus 141, that should be enough. So we have actually up to date ships. 2020. Let's get the Stalingrad class ship. We can get it, although it's in 2024, but okay. If we can get it, we are gonna use that opportunity. <laughs> yeah. Well, once more, look to the size of the EIS. It's simply great. And we are. Yeah, let's, let's tell somebody to capture that province there. Uh, we got uh, control of 413 million people and of vast areas of the Chinese industry. The Chinese military complex, there is still a good amount of industries though. Yeah, although we outnumber them in troops, well, and in industry, so that's alrighty, alrighty. Uh, 676 factories. I mean, uh, clearly, but will it end up now? Let's check. We need to check it on our own always. And the civil war in Syria isn't really seeming to end without the helps. I mean, the Islamic Republic of Iran, they don't want to join us because we are in civil war, but they wouldn't join them either. 
I mean, in real life, they are really like the Russian Federation. Yeah, they do. Or oh, we might make them join in our worlds. You wanna see? Make the game, well, play better. Here. Well, let's finish the Russian Civil War, though. We really need to finish it. They did fall back into back to the river, probably. Yeah, the KI, the AI. Yeah, we are not playing in the Sunflower patch, by the way, because we can't. I tried to, but the game just keeps crashing all the time, so that's not a uh, possibility for us to do. And if the Indians are so kind and could give me Tibet, they refused. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, that's acceptable. We control <laughs> far more than only Tibet, so, yeah. <laughs> um, what do we need? We need steel, or 40 steel. Let's get it from the Kingdom of Sweden, get everything, so nobody catches it away. Uh, we generated 103%, well that's going down 0.5%. Uh, they did this. Yeah, they are mainly fascists, so I'm really looking for the election in November uh, 2022, where they will get fascist. But actually, I will take a cut here. You'll see that we are doing, well, great progress against <laughs> the uh, Moing rebels. So I'm gonna take a cut here. I really hope you like my episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Sacred, and with it, I'm out. See you next time.